What's up everyone? It's Clay from How To Apps, and right now I'm going to show you a few different ways to go about transferring photos from your smartphone straight onto your PlayStation 4. Since the PS4 doesn't actually support like an airdrop type of functionality that you might be used to maybe on your Mac, I'll be showing you some workarounds that should get the same job done with just a slight bit more work involved. Okay, but if you're cool with that, then I'll get started and show you how to do this. The first method I want to show you is through the use of a USB storage device, like a flash drive or a hard drive. You also need a computer with USB ports or an adapter if you have a Mac in order to do this. The first step is to use your computer to copy the images you want from your phone over to the hard drive by plugging both of them in through the USB ports. Make sure you also create a folder in your drive called images and store the images that you want in there or else the PS4 won't actually be able to read them once they get over to the console. Once they're stored there, just eject it from your computer and plug it straight into the USB ports that are located on the front of the PS4. Next, you're gonna to need to make sure that you have these two apps, the Media Player and the Capture Gallery. These will be useful for both the steps that, uh, the, both the uh, methods that I'm about to show you. And they can be found if you navigate all the way over to the right of this list of apps till you get to Library, press X, and then go down a little bit until you get to applications. And then you should find them here. Um, if you haven't already, you may need to download them, but they're really, really quick downloads. Wouldn't take any time at all. All right, so I'm gonna go back and let's open up Media Player. Okay, so I've got my hard drive plugged in. And this is what you should see. If you don't have any sort of storage device plugged in, then this is not, it, it won't really even show any kind of menu. So I'm gonna press X and I already have an image in here that I want to look at. And so here's my folder created images. I'm gonna press X and there it is. Unfortunately, you can't screenshot this in order to keep it in your capture gallery, but it is on the console technically um, just in the media player. Okay, so that's using a USB storage device. The other method is actually through the use of the PlayStation app on your smartphone. Since you can access the same messages you send and receive from your PS4 on your phone, we're basically going to be sending ourselves an image and accessing that on the console. Let me show you how to do this inside the app first, then I'll walk you through the steps on the PlayStation. Okay, in the PlayStation app, look for a little message bubble icon in the top left corner of the screen and tap that. Now it won't let you send a message and receive message from a single account. Basically, you can't have a conversation with yourself on PlayStation 4, but you can certainly just send your images to a friend's account, or if you're like me, I actually have two PSN accounts, so I'm just gonna send an image to my other one. All right, so I actually already have a conversation set up. Hey, Big Zim, that's my other account. And then pretty much like any other messaging app, you just click on the image icon, and then here's this Squidward image again. I'll hit send, and there we go, it's sent to that other account. Okay, so I'm gonna hop back on my PS4 and check it out. Okay, so if we press up, we can go over to images right here, and here's this conversation, and here we go, here's the image that I just sent. So if you press X, then you can enlarge it to full screen, and if you press the share button on your controller and hit screenshot once this menu pops up, then it'll save a screenshot of that image. And that's pretty much the equivalent of saving it to the console because there's not really an actually a, a save feature for some reason. Okay, so I'll go check on that. And so now this is where Capture Gallery comes in. I'm gonna go into Capture Gallery. I'm gonna click on All, and then here we go. Here's that screenshot. Pretty much looks exactly the same as the actual image. Maybe just a little bit fuzzier, but it's really almost not even noticeable. Okay, so those were two different ways of transferring photos from your phone straight onto your PlayStation 4. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and a comment below and subscribe to see more tutorials like this. Thanks. See you next time.